Hi guys, I hope you've been well since our last lesson. Today we're going to be looking at money. Bir tane 20'lik eksik ya. Missing 20. Missing 20. In today's lesson, you will be learning idioms related to money. What's an idiom? Idioms are expressions which have a meaning that's not so obvious from the individual words. So you need to see an idiom in a context to guess its meaning. Right, let's get started. My first idiom is to be on the bread line. What's a bread line? That's a line of people waiting to get bread. So it means to be very poor. More people in Britain are on the bread line now than 30 years ago. Idiom number two, to live in the lap of luxury. It means to live an extremely comfortable life because you have a lot of money. An example could be, we live simply during the year, but we enjoy living in the lap of luxury in a nice hotel for our summer holiday. Idiom number three, well off, well to do or well healed. They all mean to have plenty of money. Most of the people living in this area are clearly very well off, but there are a few poorer families. Idiom number four, to spend money like water. So it means to spend too much without thinking about it. We can also use spend thrift. She spends money like water. I wonder where she gets it all from. Hmm. Next idiom is to tighten your belt. This is a belt and it doesn't go on your head. It goes on your waist. Well, you can't really see my waist. Yes, it goes on your waist. And if you tighten your belt, it means you spend less than you did before because you have less money. Now that we have another mouth to feed, I'm afraid we have to tighten our belts. Right, this is my favorite. Make a killing. It means to earn a lot of money very easily. Nowadays, YouTubers Instagrammers and influencers make a killing. Next one is a ripoff. It's informal and it's quite commonly used here in the UK. If you say something is a ripoff, you mean it's not worth the money you've paid for it. For example, what, 300 pounds for these glasses? It's a complete rip-off, mate. They're terrible. Right, last one, a small fortune. And it's used with quite a few different verbs. You can spend a small fortune on, for example, a wedding, but don't do that. You can make a small fortune or lose a small fortune out of a business. You can also say that house cost me a small fortune, which means a lot of money. Bye guys, I hope to see you next week. Let's not forget, money is only a tool to get us to our goals.